Welcome to 19th of April's Godly Blessing. Now, everyone is looking for a method to stay lighter, remain lighter in the mind and heart. And that is what we're going to explore over here in today's blessing. That how do you become lighter in your mind? How do you become lighter while handling everything that is coming in front of you? So here God says, may you become a double light angel. Angels have light, obviously, and at the same time, they are lighter. So that lightness, which is shown in the form of being a little above the ground and floating in the air. So they are actually lighter in the mind. That's a symbol of that. It's not that somebody who's so heavy with the physical body and is lighter and is flying up with a jet engine. No. So God says, may you become a double light angel and always stay light by transforming mind into yours. So we have taken a lot of burden of thinking and managing things and thinking that they are ours, whether it's money, whether it's our physical body, whether it's the wealth which we have, whether it's the career which we have, job, business which we have. And we think that it's all ours and we're supposed to manage it. And that's where we become heavier in our mind and we end up becoming mentally or physically sick. So God says, while walking and moving around, always have the awareness, I am an angel. Now, angel doesn't mean that you are that white color fairy with two wings. Yes, you can think about yourself as that, but it's something to do with the state of mind, not a physical thing. What are the forms of angels? What are their words? What are their actions? Think about it. How would they act, angels? How would they speak? And what are their forms? Keep this constantly in your awareness because since you belong to the Father, that means the Creator, and the Creator is the first creator of angels, since you have made everything mine into yours, that means everything mine means physically and uh, even our intellect which is not physical, even our mind which is not physical is also yours, God, my Father. You have become light, that means angels, light and a mind and intellect in order to fulfill this aim constantly that means so as to be constantly be lighter in a mind so that today i'm lighter tomorrow i become heavy and for the next 10 days you're very light and then again another one month two months or a year you're very heavy no god says in order to fulfill this aim constantly listen very carefully always remember just the one expression everything belongs to the father that's it as simple as that it doesn't mean that we run away from responsibilities, we run, shun away, oh, it's, it will be taken care of. No, it's about being a trustee, being not attached to any loss or even victory, being not attached to any form of, any form of looking down upon, which happens to us on a daily basis, whether you're in a job or something, if you're working out somewhere, working in your job, working in a business, and if some loss is incurred or some profit is incurred, nothing makes you overexcited and nothing makes you sad. When will that happen? When you are working as an employee for your father. In simple terms, to understand that I am just taking care of my creator's things. This house, this laptop, everything around here, this body also, it all belongs to the creator. So I am just taking care of it. That's my job. As simple as that. But if I get into the feeling of this is mine, I have to take care of it and something happens to it, then yes, we can spoil our health, we can spoil our mental health, we can spoil our relationships and many more things. We can create blunders actually in life. But when I'm just taking care of things as a trustee and my job is to be a trustee and everything belongs to the father, how about the feeling now? Yes, it makes you lighter, right? So God says, always remember just the one expression, everything belongs to the father, nothing is mine where you use the word mine now use yours this is mine that is mine my idea even ideas even thoughts even plans are not mine it's his you will then feel you will not then feel any burden you will continue to fly constantly in the flying stage fly over here doesn't mean literally flying yes spiritually flying yes possible your thoughts are moving beyond this earth going into the supreme abode which is also known as godfather's abode or our home where we all souls came down on this earth to play our part you'll be able to fly up there and be connected in that place and be in peace and power and that is what we learn in the form of meditation that how can we transcend this physical plane and go up and for that we have to become lighter 
a rocket which is very heavy cannot fly up as fuel makes it heavy but if you load a lot of things no it's not going to fly up it's not going to go into the trajectory and uh, enter into the plane and reach its destination so that's why even we need to make ourselves lighter so that we can also fly and go beyond the physical and that is what we learn in brahma kumaris you're most welcome to learn this beautiful art in brahma kumaris om shanti with this